Reference a project? Share the public code. Hello and welcome to Code with Sar. I'm Sar. How are you doing? Today's topic is about project to project reference. We're going to explore together what is a project to project reference, how do we do it, what happens when we do a project to project reference under the hood, and what's the benefit to divide our code into different projects. Without further ado, let's begin. A project to project reference is a procedure to let one project know about another project. Then this project could use the public resources from the other project. For example, let's assume we have two projects, a console project and a class library. The class library has a public method called getAnimal, which we want to make use of in the console project. What we could do in that case is to add a reference from the console project to the class library so that all the public resources in the class library will be exposed to the console application. And that is project to project reference. Let's see a code example. I'm in the folder of the console project, and I'm going to add a reference to the project of the animal supplies class library. I'm going to use .NET CLI by typing .NET add reference, then the path to the class library project. Now I only have one project in that folder, so the folder name is good enough. Otherwise, I'd have to provide the project name as well. Now it told me the reference to the class library is added. Let's see if I can access the classes and the methods in the animal supplies library. It looks like the animal provider class is now available to the console app. And the get an animal method is available too. This get an animal method will return a random animal from a collection. As you can see, if I go to the definition by press F12 on the method, it will jump directly to the file of animal provider in the class library project. Coming back, let's complete the code by outputting the animal that is returned to the console. And let's see how it runs. I got a cat and I got a kettle. Next, let's see through the magic. What has happened? Same trick. Use source control to see the diff. There are two files changed. Program.cs was changed by us together, and the console app.cs was changed by the COI command. Now we can see it through. A project to project reference is just adding the path to another project. No matter what kind of like UI magic is put on top of that, this is what's happening under the hood. You can do it just like what I did in .NET COI. You can do it through Visual Studio or any other ID that you are comfortable with. It is always going to be adding this project reference element into the project file. And once that's done in this format, the compiler would know to expose the public resources from the other project to the referencer. And yeah, that's that simple. Okay, but why? Why do we need a project to project reference? There are many reasons. Let's take a look at a few. Firstly, it enables logic sharing. Imagine, other than the console app that we built just now to get a random animal, we also want to do a web version. What we can do is create a web API project and let it reference the class library that has been used. Since they share the same class library, if there's any update in the method of get an animal or there's a bug fix, both the console application and the web API would get it. That mindset of sharing code is very important to software design. That is, do not repeat yourself. In this case, we are not repeating the logic of getting an animal. Let's update the code together as an exercise. Here I created a web API project, which, as you can see, refers to the animal supplies class library. That's the same class library the console application is referring to. In startup, I registered the animal provider service. And then I created this uh, random animal controller. On the constructor of the controller, animal provider is injected. If I go to definition for the animal provider, you can see it comes down from the class library. Now come back. In the get method, we're going to return an animal provided by the animal provider. Let's see it in action. I'm going to keep refreshing this page, and we'll see different animals being returned. It is just like what we saw in the console app. Now you get the idea. 
Now, is that possible to put everything in one project? Technically, I believe it's doable. However, when you try to deploy the console application, you're carrying the web API artifacts, vice versa. And that would make the package unnecessarily big. Another reason to use project to project reference is actually to architecture your application better. One characteristic of a project to project reference is it's a one way reference that you cannot uh, have circular rep references. That could be used to ledger our application. Our animal provider has a hard coded set of animals. But if we imagine those values come down from a database, we probably going to put a data access ledger and it will be responsible for exchange information with database. We could have put everything in one project. However, putting the data access ledger logic to its own project and then referenced by the business logic ledger, it ensures that data access logic won't use any of the business logic by accident. Again, it is because the, the project to project reference is the one way. And the same ledger technique could be used in between the UI logic and the business logic. A third reason to use project to project reference is because it provides us some level of encapsulation. When a project is referenced, only public resources are exposed. It is very important to pay attention to the public surfaces of your code. Those are the area that the external project could depend on. For example, in this animal provider, get an animal is a public service. You need to pay attention to this method. Try your best to avoid brief changes. The other side of the same coin are those private resources, like this get random animal index method or that hash set of string of animals. The project that refers to this class library would not pay attention to the details of the how the animal index is uh, generated. That makes the bar to changing this piece of code lower. For example, if I want to refactor this code to make it more decoupled, I can wrap up the random generator into its own class. Let me show you what I mean. What we achieved just now was that getRandomIndex was pulled out to its own class. Now you may notice the randomIndex provider is a private class, so it's embeddable to the class that references this. Coming to the console app, for example, if I type in the namespace, animal provider is visible while the index provider isn't. This makes it easy later on if we need to replace the index provider. The less the external node, the easier to change the code. And when the change is necessary, we only need to pay attention to the relatively small scope of the class library itself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button to let me know. Leave a comment and subscribe so that you don't miss the topic. Keep coding, keep improving. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care.